Hello and welcome back to FPV Reviews. Today we'll be talking about a couple of other aircraft that we've built recently or rebuilt and what we've kind of some interesting things that we've done with them and uh, starting with this uh, Aerostar, this is not a picture of the actual airplane. Uh, the actual airplane was in much worse shape than this. It was uh, built from a kit. It was an Aerostar 40 meant for a glow engine, just a basic trainer. A friend of ours had found it in a second hand store and gave it to us, spent some time in the attic, and eventually we didn't do anything with it, and we gave it away to another friend. And eventually it came back, and uh, we, we wanted to uh, do something interesting with it. So we started off by giving it a new nose, eliminating the the um, firewall and, and everything that had to do with the glow engine. Uh, gave it uh, twin electric power. Uh, we're using quite a few uh, recycled parts here. These are motors, motors from a Phantom 4. And put a Pixhawk 2.4.8 uh, in it with uh, GPS, compass, uh, current sensor, an airspeed sensor, um, kind of refurbished the fuselage, put you know, put some new wood in it, um, new landing gear, you know, a whole bunch of new parts, all new wiring, and um, got that going. Uh, the wing was in is in real rough shape, but it had a lot of the balsa cut away, so we resheated that and lengthened it by um, I forget how much I think um, roughly 20, uh, 20 centimeters on each side. Uh, created some new wing tips for it, and the the vertical stabilizer is completely missing, so we made a new vertical stabilizer, and finally got that uh, done. And uh, this was another little airplane that we put together from parts. Also some DJI motors from a, I think a 450 flame wheel and some random 10 inch multi rotor props, landing gear from a little Cessna trainer. And a wing from, uh, I think it was an Easy Star, only we added some ailerons. Also a fuselage from a Multiplex Mini Mag, or Mini Magister. Uh, so there was that, and of course we, <laughs> it was missing as well, the vertical stabilizer somehow, so we, we made another one for it. Threw a, a bunch of equipment in it, um, just to, that we had laying around, some long-range FPV gear with some kind of lousy old um, uh, monopole antennas, sander style monopole antennas that we had. We really preferred dipoles. Uh, some cheap servos and just got it working. Uh, we did put um, Tesla style batteries in both the airplanes. So they both of them can fly for, for quite a, a bit of time. And got them both together and flying. This This little foamy does not have any autopilot or stabilization of any kind. It's completely manual control. Um, and it was, we did have the head tracker set up on it with, with our uh, old um, Fat Shark Dominator goggles. And it's not in place right in this picture, but we had a, uh, a little Mobius right on, in that little tray right underneath the FPV camera. So got that all together. And what we wanted to do, which was kind of interesting, here we are um, we're taking off and climbing out. And um, a friend of mine was standing by. And what, what we'd done, we, we've we'd got the, we'd, we'd done all the tuning already um, for, in, for our new plane and the Pixhawk and had it uh, flying very well. Um, so we first took off with the, with the, the twin trainer uh, based on the Aerostar with the length and wing. Got that up in the air and had it in uh, RTL mode. And there wasn't anybody else to fly and I've been wanting to do this for a while where I send a plane up, put it in RTL, walk away from the controls, just leave it in RTL, then get the, the other FPV plane, in this case uh, the little, um, little plane here that we're calling Scrappy it's made of completely made of scraps from other projects and and other wrecked airplanes and got it up there and my friend kind of spotted for me and helped guide me into position behind 
the twin trainer. So here it is flying around in RTL. And it, it, it at first I wasn't sure how, if I was going to be able to, um, but I eventually did catch up to it because um, the, the, the twin trainer, we have it flying, I think it, um, the trim airspeed in our plane is around 55 kilometers per hour. So we've got that got that going. I, I wasn't sure that the other plane would catch it, but sure enough it did. And uh, you can see a few times in this video I, I got directly behind it or slightly underneath it and ended up getting knocked around a bit by the turbulence. But had a lot of fun uh, chasing it around. As soon as I decided to uh, to to break off for it from it here, um, I I immediately kind of got out of the area where I knew it was at, descended to a lower altitude before I came back to to uh, land and left it up there in RTL. And I didn't want to get too close to it because uh, you know there wasn't anybody to fly it or or try to recover it manual if it if I were to hit it. So. But it all worked out all right, and this is just something we've uh, been wanting to do for a while and, and finally did it. And both planes came back in one piece, so that's always good. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and have a good one.